Thank you and good morning. As I stand before you on behalf of both the institution, Kathmandu University and AIU, to express my heartfelt gratitude to all of you, the first and foremost, I would like to express my uh, sincere gratitude to our Chief Guest, Right Honorable Prime Minister and Chancellor of Kathmandu University, Mr. Puspakamal Dahal, for his gracious presence and rather philosophical inaugural speech. I would like to extend a heartfelt appreciation to the distinguished speakers who shared their insights and wisdom with us today. Professor Bola Thapa, Vice Chancellor of Kathmandu University, Professor G.D. Sarma, President of AIU, Professor Vinay Kumar Pathak, Vice President of AIU, Professor Suresh Raj Sarma, Founder, Vice Chancellor and Chairman of Board of Trustees of KU, Ambassador Mr. Prasanna Srivastava, Charge the Affairs at Indian Embassy, Kathmandu, and Professor Mrs. Pankaj Mittal, Secretary General of AIU, who for the last three months have put extra effort to make this AIU North Zone Vice Chancellor meet and this Higher Education Summit a reality. Thank you, ma'am. My thanks go to all respected Vice, -chancellor, res respected Vice Chancellors, delegates, presenters, and speakers of upcoming work working sessions present here, as well as in virtual mode online. As I understand, there are some Vice Chancellors who are joining online for the working session. Even this session, I am, I am not sure. Honorable Ministers, Members of Parliament, Founding Fathers of, and Senate Members of Kathmandu University, Professors, Academic Leaders, representing different academic institutions, Excellencies from Diplomatic Community, High-Level Officials of Government of Nepal, Friends from Media, and all those who put effort to make this event truly collaborative. My sense of gratitude will not be complete without thanking our energetic student volunteers, members of the organizing committee, our partners working in publicity, exhibition, transport and hospitality management. Please forgive me if I have missed out to mention any name. I sincerely thank one and all for their contribution, collaboration and moral support in this event. As the theme of our meet is globalization and internationalization of our higher education, covered by three separate working sessions focusing on collaboration, harmonizing, homogenizing standards, and mobility of teachers and students, we stand at an inflection point of breaking a lot of misconceptions, misgivings, and malified narratives around our higher education system. Higher education has certainly become challenging in the era of AI, deep fake, fake news, and post-truth. Our part of developing world undoubtedly needs to keep pace with the advancement of technology, digitization, and rampage of globalization. But our knowledge system must be able to counter sweeping narrative that Orient was uncivilized throughout the history and its repository of knowledge was useless and dismissible. We cannot any longer agree that. As we are proud of our heritage and systematic knowledge on governance, music and arts, economics, well-being and humanity, we are perhaps failing to reflect these important components into our higher education curricula and make our graduates employable even if we happen to take some risky but innovative initiative to this end. Another narrative we must collectively counter is about the quality of higher education imparted by the institution located in our subcontinent. Our nations and governments are investing their scarce resources in producing very talented and hardworking graduates. But when they are ready to enter into the job market, for whatever reason, they migrate to the developed world. If we are producing underskilled human resource, they would not have been absorbed in the global market so instantly. 
but the academic institution who produce this ready to work human resource can no way be less in quality resulting in poor ranking as well but we generally face a humiliating paradox here finally the concept of globalization cannot be unidirectional all the benefits flying from developing to the developed world and all the blames like in the climate crisis hurling from developed to developing world for this region also our endeavor to enhance the regional and subcontinental collaboration in higher education in developing our own ecosystem approach linked to the value based higher education meeting our job market needs and ultimate quality of life for the next generation of our citizenry is inevitable i'm sure this high level meet and summit of the esteemed academic leaders of the entire region and beyond has set, uh, sets new milestone in exploring avenues of meaningful collaboration and enhance our confidence in imparting quality higher education that is close to our value system at with the skills that can only compete in the global knowledge market but create market not only compete in global knowledge market but create market for our unique knowledge and academic products i wish you pleasant stay in dulikel and forgive us for our lapses and shortcomings thank you once again to you all for your valuable presence and patient listening thank you once again our chief guest and chancellor of kathmandu university for your valuable time staying throughout the program despite the pressing schedule thank you thank you everyone